Suckabilly coming to you live from the Warrior Race Car Shop with Mike Knuckles. Mike, how's it going? Pretty good, how about you? Pretty good, pretty good. So you're located in Seymour, Tennessee. Yes, sir, right up the outskirts of the mountains. Had to wind, go through some windy roads and so forth to get here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We're very windy roads to get to our shop. Yeah, you got beautiful country here. Uh, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for messaging me like, I, like we were talking about earlier. Most of the time I have no idea you know where businesses or where drivers live and so forth so no, you so you reached out to me had some time here we're staying here in town so thought i'd swing by and uh take a look around awesome yeah i'm glad you're enjoying our town so yeah tell me a little bit about the history of uh warrior race cars when did it begin uh warrior began it started as goddard performance parts it started probably roughly about 84 85 and then uh it started with a whole family of brothers there the two brothers raced one was kind of the engineer at the time and they wanted to try to build their own cars it used to be our old Rayburn dealers CJ Rayburn race cars uh, so they started designing their own cars and, and racing them locally here in East Tennessee and then that kind of they started winning a lot so people just started paying attention they started wanting more cars and they just morphed out into a whole nationwide business uh, like I said it's been around approximately 36 37 years uh, long time just long 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 time uh, it's uh I bought it in 2018. Me and Kevin Lesby, who was a worker there, he's been here for his whole entire life. Uh, me and him moved over here to the King Racing establishment, added on to their race shop, and uh, here we are. We just keep continuing it on. Okay, so yeah, you just kind of started out as an employee, and then you, so to speak, you kind of worked your way up the ladder. Yep, yeah, I started there in 2009. Uh, it's just a sheet metal worker, building bodies and doing interiors and decks, and then just uh, piqued my interest about doing setup stuff and I uh, knew how to fabricate and weld already so just kind of figured out how to be all around in the business to be able to kind of be able to do it all and then the opportunity came up to, to purchase it from Sanford Dem and, and here we are running with it. So I'll test your knowledge here on some of these uh, uh, upcoming questions here. So did they begin the business here or was it a case where they like began in their little garage or whatever? So. From what I understand, they started their business in the little garage behind their, hell, behind their house, but they had a guttering business out on the main highway. So what they done is they just kept buying up enough property. They built a race shop right outside the guttering business and eventually moved the race shop out from their house out to the main highway, and then it just snowballed from there. They actually was in connection with the race shop or the engine shop next door, which is Custom Race Engines. It used to be a small partnership there. Um, that business has been around for shoot, probably longer than 30 years itself. Okay, now you're kind of partnered up. You know, Ryan King is your your house car driver, and they've got a business right next door, a roofing business. Yeah, we are in the back parking lot of the King Roofing Complex. Their, their building is right here in front of us. They've been in business for a long time. Brian's got a very successful roofing business. His son, Ryan, does drive our house car. Uh, it's a partnership between all of us here. And uh, like I said, when I purchased the business, we moved from the original establishment to over here to their race shop, and we added on onto this side here to build us a jig room. And then we uh, added stuff on the inside here and give us some more storage space, and this is where we work out of now. It makes it really good that our house car program is right here at the same complex as our driver, so we get to communicate and uh, talk a lot. Okay, pretty cool. Nice little trophy room, some cool door panels up there. Yeah, yeah, a lot of this Ryan stuff. Uh, the, uh, the older trophies from the Warrior days, they're still in the old shop across town. I didn't acquire those, he kept those. So. There's a lot of trophies over there. It's like a museum in itself over there across town. So can you tell me where the name Warrior came from? What was the motivation to name yeah, it that? I honestly really don't know where all that came from. Um, I definitely need to look into that more. I just know that, you know, when I grew up around here, that was, it was always the Warrior and the Indian head logo. And that was just, uh, just something that those guys always done. I guess I need to quiz myself a little better on that, knowing where, where it came from. Yeah, we kind of started out there with a, uh, Showing uh, your door panel, that is a uh, that is a great design of the uh, the Indian head there. So you're thinking about uh, changing, like the business logo, or just the just the no, door just, there? Just the door. Like just I the told door. You when you walked up, I like to walk up to a place, and if it doesn't have a see-through door, I like to have some kind of graphic on a door, not some just mundane shop door. I like to have something when people pull up here, they know where they pulled up to. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, I am in town for the Castro Flow Racing Night in America, 411 Motor Speedway, legendary track. My first visit, word is that the 20,000 win show tonight is the biggest in track history. So this is gonna be big for you, obviously, being headquartered here. Tell me a little bit about 
about the track and the race tonight? Oh yeah, yeah, this is huge. This this race is the biggest event ever held at Fort Lee Motor Speedway as far as purse goes. Um, the Castro Flow Racing Series, they've, they've done a lot for our industry this year. We've ran all the races so far. We're 10th in points. We uh, had some bad luck the last two. We were 8th in points, and so now we fell back to 10th. We had an engine and a, a crash that's put us back to 10th. But, uh, yeah, it's big for us to be here at Fort Lee Motor Speedway. It's my driver's home track. It's where he grew up racing at. It's where he learned to race at. So, I mean, just going across town, he can he can drive this place with his eyes closed. So we're just hoping for a, a good finish tonight and help get us back up in the points. Okay, and I must give a shout out to Captain Insano Children's Book Series. They are hardcore warrior fans, and I, I sent him a couple of pictures here, and he's like crying on the phone, just <laughs> like, oh, I wish I was there with you. Yeah, those guys, they, they do a lot of advertising for us. They're actually war long-time warrior customers. They've raced warrior race cars for a long time, I think since 2009 or 10. They've been very loyal customers, and I love to try to help them with their brand of children's books and coloring books and all that stuff. It's awesome that you're paired up with them. Uh, they actually done a book just on me and Kevin talking about building race cars. Is that right? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, they did. That's awesome. Well, hey, Mike, appreciate your time. Uh, Mike Knuckles with Warrior Race Cars. Thank you.